today we're going to be drawing a biplane airplane. For this project, you're just going to need a few supplies, a pencil, a piece of paper, a sharpie, blue watercolor paint, and markers of your choice. Alright, let's get started. Hey guys, today we're going to be drawing an, a biplane. A biplane is a fixed wing aircraft with two main wings stacked one above the other. The first powered, controlled airplane to fly, the Wright Flyer, used a biplane wing arrangement, as did many other aircrafts in the early years of aviation. For this project, you'll need paper, markers, pencil and black sharpie, white crayon, and blue watercolor paint. If you don't have it, you can use the aluminum foil and a cup of water to create it yourself. All right, let's get started. Before I started this lesson, I did a little bit of practicing just to come up with a simple way to draw these airplanes. Now we're doing, I guess you would call it a profile view. So you're just seeing the side of it and not the three dimensional version of it. I printed off some reference photos so you can look at them as I draw. Feel free to follow along. Here we go. My airplane's going to be flying to the side. Now if you want yours to be flying diagonal, drop, turn your paper diagonal. If you want it to be straight, just follow along with me. I will sh continue to show you my reference photos that I drew before, just so you can see how I started it. And again, my airplane will be flying to the side. So on the left side, it'll be facing that way. Place your first mark right here. This is going to be the front of the airplane where the propellers are. So it's kind of a curved line, kind of straight, kind of curved, a rounded square, whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to take the top of this, keeping it parallel with the top of my paper, and then draw a curve right about here. This is, I believe, a second seat. Again, your should be very flat on the top. Draw a shorter line, and then a deeper curve. This is where your pilot will sit. Feel free to pause the video as often as you need to, to catch up. Now we'll draw the bottom of the plane. This part right here is straight. It's a horizontal line. And then it's going to eventually diagonal Kind of go straight back at a diagonal. I'm going to take the bot, the top of it, and go down at a diagonal, and the bottom will go up. I'm just kind of sketching it on there so it's light enough for me to erase if I make a mistake. He should meet at the back with a slightly curved line. All right. Looking back at the reference, and we're going to start adding the, the tail. <laughs> I think it's called the tail. It's going to come up at another diagonal, almost like a triangle. Come straight down and connect to the airplane. We're going to draw a smaller little, I guess, another tail. <laughs> it's just kind of a rectangle shape. Just a little detail. Now we're going to add the propellers on the front. There are usually two to four propellers. We're just going to have two visible ones because it is spinning, so you can't really tell. If you start with this uh, point on the end, it's going to go straight up vertically and it's slightly rounded on the edges. And straight down, slightly rounded. There we go. We're going to add a curved line towards the nose of the airplane just as an added detail. Feel free to add, add um, rivets, those are just kind of small dots along the edge. That's how a lot of these old planes were held together. Alright, let's look back at the reference. We're going to add the front wheel. 
and then we'll add the, um, the wings, the top and the bottom wings. Two short diagonal lines going one direction, and then two short ones going in the opposite direction. And then you connect them with a curve. This is like a wheel well for the airplane wheel. And then a little bit, like a half circle. There you go. Now we're going to get ready to draw the bottom wing. Now remember it's a profile view so we don't see how long it is, we just see how wide it is. So it's going to start below the airplane first and then curve up to connect it. It's a similar shape to the wheel well thing we just drew. Now the front of the top wing will be diagonally lined up with the bottom, the front of the bottom wing. There you go, about the same length. And that thing needs to be attached to the other one. So we're gonna use another diagonal line. This is like a, um, a pole or something to hold it together. And we'll do another diagonal line, same direction. And then a vertical line, straight up and down. Here. Erase your overlapping lines. Looking good. Now we're going to add the pilot. I'm just using a basic shape for my pilot. He's going to have um, like an earpiece on. So that's a small circle. With the like, it's like headphones, that's the word. Here's his helmet with the face cut out. The super cool glasses. No, not much detail on the face, just showing that it's a person sitting there. Then here's the controller, how he steers. And there you go. Add a couple more details before we add colors. We're gonna add the back wheel. It's a very small one. There are two short lines and then two more going diagonal and then a very similar shape to the front wheel with a half circle, boom. Now we'll add some detail on the back tail or fin or whatever it's called. More detail lines. You can make up your own design. You don't have to copy what I'm doing as far as details. I'm going to add a few details on like a paint job on my airplane. This is like a racing stripe or a pinstripe. A uh, really popular design is um, stars. A lot of people put stars on their airplanes. Um, they spell letters, they put targets, spell letters, spell words, add numbers. My airplane is called Art 20. is a pencil. So I'll draw a little pencil here. Again, make up your own. It doesn't have to be my design. After you have your airplane drawn, you're going to grab your white crayon and start making clouds. Now I did not end up coloring my clouds in. I probably should have. I just did the outline of them. Make sure you put some overlapping your airplane so it looks like your airplane's flying like, through the clouds. You can kind of see where I drew it, but I recommend filling it in with crayon. It doesn't have to be all the way, just enough to show cloud.
before you add any color, I recommend tracing it in Sharpie. This will really make your airplane stand out. You don't have to if you don't want to, personal preference, but it's recommended.